Kylam Luminar coming up right after the intro. Now, some of you know that I've actually changed my workflow and I've replaced Camera Raw with Skylum Luminar. Now, Luminar comes in as a standalone app that you can actually develop your photos directly in them. It's supposed to be a Lightroom alternative. However, it comes in as a plugin in Photoshop and that's how I use it. Now, what you're looking at here is the standalone app. And you could tell that most of these settings are familiar. Just like Lightroom, you do actually have a clarity slider. You do have the raw develop um, settings or adjustments that you can control over here. But also you have many other filters and that's where this software excels. So you have plenty of filters to play around with. You've got, boy, fast contrast, channel mixer, water filters and so on forth. For now, I'm going to show you quickly how does the standalone app works and uh, we're going to move into Photoshop in a bit. Let's uh, play around with the structure and that gives it a bit of contrast and sharpness. Now, if you're not sure what each filter does, you can just hover over um, the filter and it will give you the details about what each of this do or does. So let's try one of the creative looks i'll add a matte look and you can see now at the bottom here it added a matte look and i'm just going to increase that filter amount and let's add a bit of fade i believe many of you have asked me about this look and i've created it in just a few clicks and slides the possibilities are endless Let's add a bit of toning over here. So I'll just add a range just slightly and I can select the hue of that range. Let's do that. There you go. And I kind of like it without the range, but again, it's a creative decision. All right, let's jump into Photoshop and show you what else this software does. All right, so before moving on, the guys at Skylum were generous enough to uh, provide a $10 discount. I've left the link at the description below. It's also worth to know that this is an affiliate link, meaning that every time you purchase the software using that link, I'll get a percentage out of it. All right, now that is out of the way, let me show you how that works in Photoshop. And we have these two lovely Jaguars, which was actually, they were part of my pro tutorials. And if you haven't checked that out, I'll leave a link in the description below. Make sure to check it out. All right, so let's create a duplicate of this background layer, which is the two Jaguars. And I'm going to convert to smart objects or smart filters, as you know what smart filter does, right? So smart filters will allow you to go back and dial in and out the settings of whatever filter that you apply. And now I'm going to go to Skylum Software, Luminar 2018, or Luminar 3, depending on what you're using. All right, so now that the plugin is loaded, let's adjust all these settings. So I need to adjust the brightness just a little and maybe a bit of the shadows not maybe definitely let's adjust the whites okay not too much and the highlight these are all the basic settings that you will find um in lightroom let's add some clarity all right let's increase the exposure bring down the highlights maybe a little there you go yep Kind of like that right now now there's a cool filter that they have it's called the accent ai filter and it just looks at your photo and it will suggest a kind of multiple adjustments on its own you can tell that it's trying to adjust everything at once now you know me i like to do everything uh, manually so let's just hit it and also this ai sky enhancer if you look at the sky, it enhances the sky by either, you know, decreasing the brightness or increasing it depending on the photo. It's all artificial 
intelligence and that's quite cool all right let's add some structure and if you're not sure what it is you can always hover over it and we'll, we'll give you a description of what that filter does so it's a mix of clarity and micro contrast so let's add that now if i if i pull the slider all the way it will look ugly so make sure that you always add tiny adjustments not a lot all right that's cool let's see what else we can do there's a sharpening but i'll leave that towards the end there is a clarity we've already added clarity so let's do maybe an advanced contrast or actually let's do a color contrast and that is quite cool notice what happens to the photo when i um slide the slider towards the end it's quite cool i kind of like that look and you can also control it by the hue if you want to change the hue of the contrast so somewhere maybe around there all right let's add a detail enhancer and let's zoom in a bit so we can see exactly what it does and control it so you have small medium and large and uh, it's obvious what it does right so small is for the small details this medium is for medium details now i won't add a lot of small details because it will start introducing noise it already has a bit of noise which we can actually reduce using the denoise over here and let's add a bit of medium and then just a bit of large great you can see the before and after by clicking this eye over here so this is the before after i'm not sure you'll be able to see the details on the screen but it's very minimal and it adds up to the photo all right let's drop down that and let's add a bit of denoise and let's bring it up above the color contrast and the details enhancer yes you can actually play around the layers so let's add a bit of denoise and let's see how that looks i think it looks good and now since we've added that let's add more um, medium and the large details great all right let's add the adjustable gradient and click that let's zoom out like so so now you have the top which is this portion and let's drop the exposure maybe just a little just a little we're trying to recover some of the highlights that we've burned out and let's go to the bottom and let's adjust that too and there you go you can actually adjust the orientation so uh, that is the split between the top and the bottom let's say we want to do this it will affect the top more than the bottom or if you want to affect the bottom more than the top you can adjust that accordingly all right let's add a bit of sharpening and let's give that a go now for these settings you would always want to actually zoom in to see the the effect otherwise you know when when you're zoomed out you won't be able to see it and it's very hard to tell if you're doing it right or not all right it looks okay that's great now i think i've added a lot of uh, color contrast let's just bring that down a bit you can control the settings individually or you can actually um, control the entire settings just down from here but of course i would want to do that individually all right, let's go back to the develop settings and I want to increase the shadows and just add a bit more exposure maybe just like so and bring down the highlights and we're good to go all right let's add a sun ray and you can do that simply by clicking this and you have a sun ray but we need to place the sun let's add and place that somewhere around here like so and let's adjust the sunray so i 
Oh, this doesn't look right. Just looks a bit fake. So let's let's adjust that. The look. Let's decrease the look. I don't want much of that. Number of sun rays. And definitely the length. Maybe around there is good. Let's add a bit of warmth. All right. Let's adjust the sun itself. Maybe somewhere around there is good. The glow just a tad. Glow amount. And the warmth of the glow. All right. Penetration overall. Mm. I'll keep it around there. And there you go. All right, that looks good. Let's go back again to the develop settings. And um, I'm just not liking how too dark this one is. So I'm going to increase the exposure. Just a tad. Add more shadows. And bring down the highlights. Like so. All right, let's click apply and let's see the before and after. So this is the before, this is the after. I think we might have overdone it. I did actually. And you can control the settings from here or you can actually, you can, because we have smart filters, you can actually go back and dial in or out the settings. All right, so let's dial this one a bit down. That one, I think there's just a bit too much of a contrast. And maybe just bring the structure down like so. All right, and let's add a filter. Let's add a gradient. And adjustable gradient. Great. Where is it? Go to the bottom. And just a tad like so. And let's set the orientation, bring this one down like so. Set it and apply and we're good to go. All right, YouTube. So this was a quick demonstration of what the software does. Now, like I said, the beauty of this software or Luminar is the amount of adjustable filters that it has. You can control each and every single aspect of it. Of course, there are ways that you can actually use masks on these filters. So you actually have more control over your adjustments and settings. And of course you have more filters to play around with as well. All right, YouTube. So we've reached the end of this tutorial. I know it's been a while. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Check me out on Instagram and I'll see you in the next video.